Hello Aries, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Cross Watchers. This is your 2021 year ahead reading. This is going to be a very extensive reading. You're going to want to stay tuned to the end. I'm going to get into some nitty gritties of what you can expect in the upcoming year. Now keep in mind, this is not going to resonate with everybody. Just take the bits and pieces that do and leave the rest. And feel free to check out your other signs. And I do thank you all for all your support and love through this year of 2020 in helping my channel to grow. I appreciate my subscribers. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because I upload a lot of videos. I upload often. Okay, let's go ahead and dig in. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to lay out these cards. Um, I want to I want to save some time and lay them out and then I will be right back. Okay, this section here is the overview of your year and this is this here is divided into four four quarters. Um, January through March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, so let's go ahead and dig in. Now, this first position here is what... Um, this is a summary of your previous year. Okay, your previous year seemed to be as of, of a lot of change, a lot of momentum... Uh, th trying to progress forward um, with the Ace of Rods. You have a, a something here that seems to be a new idea or thought, a new passion that was kind of like driving you forward. And it, the chariot is all about advancement. So you might have been advancing on a new idea. Now, when I say what... About previous year this is energy from the previous year that is that is playing effect on this the next year of 2021 and then the next position that we have is lessons learned from your previous year so the lessons that you had to learn is the high priestess um, I think that this is about trusting in your intuition. Um, in a, this might be some kind of relationship that you had to, you learned a lesson. What you dealt with was trusting your intuition as far as a, some sort of partnership, a decision that you were making as far as love is concerned. Um, twos are about duality, also coming together. So I think that there was some sort of progression of events that led to this beginning. You might have started a relationship last year that is playing a that you had some lessons to learn in regards to that relationship. Then um, here in position three is the hopes of this year. Your hopes, your goals. Ace of Pentacles. This is, you know, truly getting your new path, your new start off the ground here. This is, a, uh, oh my gosh, how can this happen twice? Ace of Pentacles, clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. So you are very much goal-oriented. You have your prize in sight, and you know where, where you want to go, and you know what you want to do, and you are... You are taking advantage of a new opportunity and you're planting seeds and waiting for it to grow. Position three is <clears throat> what is motivating you? What's motivating you to keep on pushing forward is we have the seven of um, pentacles. For some of you, um, if this is not a romantic relationship, this could be business or job related or work related, but the sevens are progression. Um, sevens are about um, lessons that you have learned, knowledge, and gaining some sort of experience. Okay, so I think that you may be starting a new venture 
and what and you are gaining experience from this for some of you this is career related but other cards here will verify some of you could i think that there's two different starts here i think there's a new start in a relationship that started in 2020 and we also have something along the lines of career okay and you've gained you're gaining some experience from this you've been patiently waiting ah and then we have the eight of cups so i feel as though that you've gained experience through some kind of blocks that you've come across and you are heading away from those blockages on a new path and that is motivating you putting the past behind you and the last position on this line are any kind of obstacles that you may come across obstacles um, blockages which is the four of wands uh, in this instance I'm seeing the four of wands as stagnation staying still this is about having that perseverance and having that drive to push forward past um, and t and being willing to take that chance and you know uh, if it, and moving past the anxiety hitting a new milestone pushing I feel like step taken step by step in your path this year that everything is not going to happen overnight and I feel like that's part of it you are looking for a new sense of stability or a return of stability and this is something that you may have been agonizing over for a while but you're hitting a milestone and it's about celebrating those small accomplishments because all those small accomplishments that you gain add up to the in the all is an added puzzle piece to the bigger picture okay this line here is about four different areas of life the first one is your um, love relationships uh, and emotional status page of cups is a new path a new start so um, I think that something in whatever it was in 2020 probably a decision that you had to make in 2020 that you had to trust your intuition on um, there is intuitively that maybe there was something that had a false start in 2020 actually has a brand new start I'm feeling as though that there is a new start there I'm getting one of these cards as well and it, it is about being fair a fair pay, playing ground um, being honest and truthful here um, with the hermit there is also maybe even a sense of coming out of isolation and being willing to start that new path okay and I'm gonna get one of these cards snake yeah this is yeah I feel as though that there may have been something toxic in your love life that you got that is calling for you to do some introspection you might be alone in 2020 for a while in order to deal with some kind of complications in your love life that may have been may have been in or out of your control career and finances we have the two of coins so the two of coins is um somebody with a juggling act and, and twos are about decisions so this kind of lines up with this other part of this of your situation you have things going on in your love life decisions made there decisions being made in your finances career job work okay that you may have been in a position where you were um, constantly robbing Peter to pay Paul so now you have to make some kind of decision to move forward and you there is a new life a new beginning for you in your career and i think you're making some kind of advancements and i pulled that from the wrong deck but it doesn't matter and we have cup overflowing so ten of cups is going to lead to a successful completion and it's going and whatever this is in your career is going to lead to some emotional fulfillment your wellness health and wellness now i don't read deeply into health because a lot of because typically with deep-seated issues 
you need to see a doctor. In this case, um, with the Ten of Wands, with your health, this is somebody who's feeling tired all the time. You're working yourself to the bone, and you're feeling tired, and it, um, or Nine of Wands, rather. However, through this hard work, you find advancements. But I feel like that there is a need for a time out, okay? Take a break as you are transitioning. And I think like you have a lot of transitioning. You have changes occurring in your relationships, changes occurring in your career, and you need to take some sort of time out here. Um, Ace of Cups, you know, this is healing. I'm feeling healing. This is not dealing with relationships because this is health and wellness. So I feel like this is a need to take you be number one, take care of yourself. You need some rest. And I'm hearing plenty of liquids um, and help on the way. Some of you may need a checkup with the doctor. It doesn't hurt. Um, but you definitely need something, um, maybe some vitamins or something. So if, if you're feeling that tired and this and stuff, then definitely seek um professional help with a physician to so that you can improve that that's the biggest thing i'm feeling burnout in 2021 on your health that you do need to take care of yourself okay and the last one is spirituality uh, we have the tower card this is interesting this card is scorp this has scorpio energy to it this is about old beliefs being broken down crumbling to the ground and rebuilding. I And it's also about some kind of sudden revelation. I think that in 2021, on a spiritual level, you're going to have a sudden revelation and you're going to start receiving me spiritual messages, okay? That's going to help you develop and open up. This is opening up. And Queen of Swords is somebody who is being, is requiring being patient and seeking truth. So, so you may be on a spiritual quest in 2021, seeking some spiritual truth and um, working with others hand in hand. You may be join, joining a spiritual group. Uh, it could be an online community, um, but it feels like I feel like angelic hands coming down and guiding you. And I just feel like it's going to blow your just I'm hearing the words blowing your mind. And you're going to get messages here. And you, I see you analyzing them and trying to figure things out. But I see like some kind of new spiritual path coming in 2021 for you. Now, this bottom row here, the first card is um, the um, what you need to focus on. And... The focus is on, it's the three of wands. It, again, the threes are creativity. Concentrating on creative ventures, creative ways of thinking. Um, thinking outside the box and, you know, go, going forward with your plans. I feel like there's growth and expansion. Focusing on expanding your horizons. Okay. And I'm going to get a, car, a tarot for that. Five of Swords, there is definitely a big change. Even though that you may have been felt like you were on the losing end for quite a while, there is a change coming around that you are going to be the winner. It's going to lift your ego. And this is about definitely going on a quest to expand your horizons here. Uh, what is most important to you, or um, it's also known as... Um, an important lesson for this year is the star card. The star is having guidance, divine guidance, okay? The star is um, some faith and hope. This is long-term goals. So I feel like you're, these are working really well hand in hand here. This is making your plans, putting your plans into action your long-term goal, your goals, things that you've set out to do, expanding your horizons goes well with this as far as 
keeping an eye on your long-term goals here and um, persevering, progressing. You need to focus on moving forward, not backwards, and obtaining those long-term goals and celebrating each land, each um, milestone that you obtain. You have the higher ground. You have the ability to fight off any kind of opposition. And overall energy for <clears throat> 2021, we have the Knight of Coins. The Knight of, Coin the Knight of Coins is the slowest knight in the tarot deck. He is representing slow, steady progress and change. So th things are going to be changing for you in 2021 for the better. Do not get discouraged if things are not moving forward as quickly as you want them to. And we have the Temperance card, which is about balance and patience. And it also has a sense of healing and caution. The Knight of Coins is also very cautious moving into the following year or overall year so this is about not making rash judgment call thinking things through and you are going to see major improvements in small increments that's that makes total sense when i said celebrate the small accomplishments take it step by step you can't you're not going to accomplish everything all at one time makes total sense and be patient with yourself there's a lot of things about being patient for your with yourself okay we're going to move over here to this section first quarter january february march we have the eight of wands eights are typically they there are obstacles and challenges so you are moving into this year with obstacles and challenges and it feels like moving into this year your obstacles and challenges are dealing with relationships to be and this um is about Eights can also be movement and moving forward. Eight of wands is things moving forward very quickly. Or for some instances, all the arrows coming at you at once. Um, burning the candle at both ends. Five of pentacles. Yes, kind of like a struggle, a challenge, and change occurring in the first three months. You may be feeling like that somebody has ghosted you. That could be this person from the past. They may have already ghosted you and you feel, you're feeling it. You feel like you've been left out in the cold, um, but you do have support behind you, okay? You do have support calling upon your friends and your support system here. Um, and, you know, three blackbirds is talking, chattering. Um, sometimes it's gossip, but I'm feeling more like talking with other people and seeking help, seeking support. Is where you're going to be at in the first quarter. Second quarter, April, May, June brings the Six of Cups. Sixes are harmony and balance. Sixes are also perseverance. So it feels like you are getting through by by the by April or between April and June, you are going to be in a place where you are finally maybe getting some peace. And some healing taking place. Um, and you've got the Seven of Cups. You've got options open to you. You're making progress forward emotionally. And there's where, you know how I said that there could be another, a, a brand new star coming here with the Ace of Cups. And stuff that, you know, this here is co-creating. This could be partnering up with somebody between April and June. Fox. Yes, another woman. So you, or, or it could be a man. This is somebody who's very intelligent, very smart, very resourceful. So I think that um, April through June is highlighting romance. Okay. These, the first half of the year is dealing about your relationships. They're taking front center stage. Um, I would like to see some, well, the whole year is talking about romance because we have the Ace of Cups here and the King of Swords. But um, I feel like I need to say that don't let the romance distract you from your main goal of progressing forward financially and in your career as well. Okay, don't let this distract you. Um, 
July, August, September, we have the Ace of Cups. So it feels like in probably oh, these two are probably overlapping the second quarter and the third quarter because it does feel like a new path, a new emotional path that it brings about the soft gentleness. Um, this is maybe you waiting for that other person, this other person taking the first steps. You taking a step back and letting them make their moves. Um, Seven of Pentacles, there is still progression forward. Um, and I feel like that I need to say that you need to stick to it. Um, new romances aren't easy. You may feel tired and worn out, waiting for something to progress. Um, player, okay, so you might feel like, it might feel like that you're dealing with a player here. Because we got the Fox card and the player card, so... Yeah, there might be a player, which kind of makes sense with the snake. Okay, so, you know, keep in mind that there could be somebody that comes into your life. Don't let them throw you off course. Don't let them distract you. That could be a player. And you're, uh, you are waiting and waiting patiently for this person to commit. Um, but uh, it's not happening until, let's see what the fourth quarter brings. Fourth quarter brings the King of Swords. A King of Swords is somebody who's very intelligent, somebody who's wise, who has the experience. And you may be drawing upon your experience of the whole year of how things have gone. Doesn't look like romance is your <coughs> cup of tea this year. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but I do feel that you need to stay focused. I feel as though, um, now, this. keep in mind, I don't know, maybe you're the player. However, this resonates. But this is about somebody who's very decisive, who knows what they want, that they, it's like black and white energy. It is drawing upon your, in, your wisdom and your knowledge that you've gained over the year and putting it into play. Um, you have learned that people wear masks, that you have to do some research, that, you know, not everything that glitters is gold. Uh, and really being an analyzer, you're probably going to be in a place of analyzing your connections here. <sighs> okay. And threes are about expansion and growth <coughs> and creativity um, wounds open up to the elements to, in, to invoke healing. So I feel as though that you've come to realize that not everything is, is as it seems. Um, you may feel some heartache and pain in the fourth quarter. But you, keep in mind, you could change this. Just saying. First sign that they're a player, you could cut it off before it gets to that point. Roller. Ruler, yeah, this is about ruler and the king. This is about having control. This is about you gaining the knowledge, you gaining control, and you've you have you have some lessons that you need to learn in the romance department this year. Is what I'm feeling. Wow, I know Aries. Um, romance doesn't look so hot, however. Your career and finances, I see things about that progression. I feel as though that you're, you need to really focus on your goals this year. Um, you really need to focus on Magi. Yeah, the Magi is um, the magician manifesting your goals. And I feel this, and this lies in the lines of career. So I feel like that you need to shift your focus out of romance and into career and advancing yourself and getting some sense of financial stability is what I'm feeling. That's the, that's the overall sense. Now the cards aren't going to tell you what to do. You can make up your mind on your own. But I feel that whoever this is, maybe this is somebody that 
this these could be this one and the same people here that you start and i feel like it started in 2020 2021 you know there's a lot there's a lot of up, ups and downs but you may come to the conclusion that this person is a player okay let's get some uh guidance from angel answers card and we'll call this a read Okay, we've got two cards here that I wanted to turn over. Peaceful resolution and communicate clearly. Okay. There's going to communicate clearly to the angels what your desires are. And communicate to those in your environment. Communication is key and into any conflicts that you may be coming across during the course of the year to have peaceful resolutions okay um this three of swords does not have to be a total heartbreak there could be a peaceful resolution to it all and without and part of it would be not diving too deep into that and this yin is saying you know watch them see what actions they take before you take action okay if you do that then you'll see how they are acting and when they're not moving forward, before you invest too much more of your heart into it to minimize things, then you can make a decision that is in your best interest and come up with a peaceful resolution. Okay, these are the messages I have for you for your 2021 reading Aries. Again, please give me a thumbs up if this resonates, um, if you like this video, and then if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. Blessed be.